I've always been very interested in thinking about how we think. It seems to be a really interesting problem to realize that there must be a biological underpinning to how we think, how we, how we build knowledge, how we retain knowledge, how we um, uh, uh, retrieve knowledge. So for the last 20 years or so, I've been working in psychiatric genetics, asking the question, what is it about the biological makeup in our genes that, that distinguishes individuals who develop schizophrenia or bipolar affective disorder compared to the normal population. Through the setting up of the center and through long-standing conversations with people like Ian Deary, the director, it's been possible for me to start to contribute to understanding how genes might influence cognition within the general population, building on things that we've learned from studying patients at the extremes of that in relation to psychiatric illness. We have collaborators in Australia that we work with. Uh, we have collaborators in North America. We have a network around Europe and into Japan too. So lots of different people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different science disciplines, trying to, trying to wrestle with these big questions because they're far too big for any one person to, to comprehend probably too big for any one lab or any one group, but it's an extension of the ethos in the center, which is that you try to provide a means for drawing people from different disciplines together to get that added value that you get when you integrate different types of scientific approach.